All right, in this video, we're going to work a statics problem that falls under the category of the equilibrium of a particle. What this means is that the, any free body diagram that we draw, all of the forces on that object are concurrent. They meet at a point, which means that you can model, so any free body di diagram that we draw, you can model just as a point, as a particle. And also, this is a type of problem where all of the forces that we deal with are coplanar. All right, so if cable CB is subject, subjected to a tension that is, is twice that of cable CA, determine the angle theta for equilibrium, equilibrium of the 10 kilogram cylinder. Also, what are the tensions in in wires C A and C B? Okay, so first of all, what is the weight of the cylinder? We know that. So the weight of the cylinder is just M. So ten times nine point eight one. So this is just ninety eight point one newtons. All right, let's do a free body diagram of this ring here. We can draw it as a point like this. Let's put our XY coordinate system, the origin going through this point. We don't have to put the origin going through the point. It would work if, if we put it out here too. But let's just put it, let's just put it here. Okay, so what forces do we have on this ring? We've got a downward force at 98.1 newtons we've got the force on cable on, on wire wire cb and we know its orientation it's oriented at theta well we don't know we don't know theta we're trying to determine theta so we don't know its orientation actually but we do know that in the wire Wires can't hold compression, so we know that the wire is in tension, so that means we know that the wire is pulling in this direction. This is FCB. Well, let's put it as tension. So this is TCB, okay? And then we do know the orient, we know that, so we do know this orientation. This is 30 degrees T A C. And again, we know we know that this will be pulling in this direction because the wire can't hold a compressive force. So no force there there's it's not possible in, in this scenario to exert a force in this direction. That's from what we understand about wires and, and uh, cables and chains. Okay. So that's our free body diagram. Let's now do our e equations of equilibrium. So the sum of the forces in the x direction must equal zero because this ring is not moving. So we get minus T A C cosine of 30 plus T C B cosine of theta is equal to zero. So cosine of thirty root three over two, which is point eight six six, so minus point eight six six T A C plus TCB cosine of theta is equal to zero. Okay, so that's one equation. Let's now sum the forces in the y direction. And I'm just realized I just I forgot about that. The tension in cable CA is twice that of CB. So I will we'll, let, let's go ahead and do that right now. So another equation we know. So again, 
CB is subjected to a tension that is twice that of CA. So T C B is two T C A or T A C. Okay, so we, we can let's bring these two together. So minus point eight six six T A C is equal to or no plus two T A C cosine theta is equal to zero. Okay, so this is we this is if let's sum the forces in the y, and then we should be able to solve for something with using this in combination with this equation. So, sum of the forces in the y must equal to zero. So, so T A C sine thirty plus TCB sine theta, but TCB is 2TAC, so 2TAC sine theta minus 98.1 is equal to zero. Okay, so sine of 30 Zero point five, so zero point five TAC plus two TAC sine theta is equal to ninety eight point one. So yeah, we've got two equations, two unknowns. Okay, so looking at this, these TACs cancel. So we can solve for theta here, but then we can't solve for TAC, but then we can solve for, once we have theta, then we can solve for TAC here. So, right, so like, we could divide through by TAC, divide both sides of this equation by TAC, and you get so so 0.866 divided by 2 is equal to 64.3 degrees. Okay. So now we can solve for for TAC here. So 0 0.5 TAC plus 2 TAC sine 64.3 So this is so sine sixty four point three times two and then add that to point five, so two point three oh two one five. So TAC is 98.1 divided by 2.30215. 42.6 Newtons. Okay, and then TCB is just twice TAC.
85.2. Okay, and that's your answers.